Welcome back to my tutorials. Um, I wanted to quickly show you how to include the jQuery library into your websites and your web projects so that we can do some more advanced tutorials in the future. Hopefully build some single page applications and do some advanced jQuery. So first I'm going to take you over to the Google APIs library. And we'll go to the developer center, jQuery, and I want to grab this path so that we can include the library and then we'll just come over to the bottom of our document right be before the closing body tag and add some script tags and we'll just make the source equal to the Google library close it and that's it that's all it takes to include the jQuery library now when you navigate to your web project you're not going to actually see any changes as you can see we re just refresh the page and it's still blank but what we can do is do a test uh, console logging to see if it is working so I'm going to open the developer console I believe it's control shift J on Windows and it's command shift J or command shift C on the Mac um, and then open the console and let's just print something real quick to the console uh, and make sure you do it at the end of your after you've included the jQuery library. And we're just going to log. And now we should get an output in the console for the DOM object of the body. And it would help if we convert it into a string. And there we go. We are now looking at the contents of the the body element in the web page. And that's all you have to do to include the jQuery library.